It's a really fabulous, gorgeous, amazing day <laughs> because we're going to try some beautiful, beautiful products on this face today. I cannot wait to show you all the crazy things that I have right here in front of me that we're going to put on my face. I'm so excited. Let's go. We're gonna play with a lot of beautiful things today. I've been waiting to play with these things for like a few days now. I finally got this palette. I know we're, we're starting in a non-traditional way today, but that's because I have no patience. I really want to put this baby on my eyes. I You've already seen how it was swatched. I mean, come on, this this if it's gonna be the same it's gonna perform the same on my eyes as it was on that uh, uh as it performed when i swatched it i'm gonna lose my goddamn shit I i'm gonna tell you right now this palette right here it is freaking amazing when you swatch it I, I just, I, I can't say it's amazing overall because I have not tried on my eyes, but trust me, we that's what we're going to do today, okay? I already primed my face because I don't have any patience for that either to do it on the camera. I primed my face with Too Faced Hangover, whatever this is, <laughs> Proactive Nourishing, Replenishing Face Primer, blah, blah, blah. So now I am priming my eyes and I'm priming my eyes with the same thing that I've been using for the past three months, Luscious Angel Eyes. I'm trying to use this sucker up and I am applying it the hell out of it and that's what I'm doing today. But we're also going to try this thing today. We are going to try Huda Beauty. Whoop, whoop. Yes, Huda Beauty, it is in the freaking house today. And this is, oh my God, I wanted this so, for so, 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 so long. This is the Fall Filter Skin Finish uh, Foundation and mine, it is in Butter Pecan. Also going to put some of this primer from elf this is the primary infused i'm um, primary infused bronzer uh i have a jacqueline hill loose highlighter over here i'm gonna tell you all about the craziness around it and the fact that everybody is apparently it's buying her brand now weird all right so we're gonna have some charlotte tilbury in the house we're gonna have more huda beauty gonna have some Neutrogena, we have some Milk Kush, we have a bunch of things um, to, well, let's get with the eyes first. I don't know which way I'm gonna go with this, as usual, I never know which way I'm going, <laughs> never, I never, like honestly, I never know. Um, and I am gonna set my eye with Walking Stick, oof, this palette. Wow, we uh, when I swatched this, I could not believe it. I was like, Is this for real? Is this how it feels? Is this how the all their uh, their shadows are like so soft, so much payoff, like that cold, that BB? I was like, What the hell? That is freaking awesome. 
So I am, uh, I'm pretty excited to see if it's going to perform the same because if it does, baby, let me tell you, this might be better than Pat McGrath. I know I'm making some huge claims right now, but I am astonished, astonished about the quality of this palette. All right, so this is how we set everything. I want to see how these things are going to work. I don't want to do something too crazy, but I also want to put some of these beautiful shades in here. I said I want to do something crazy, and then immediately I'm thinking to put Mantis and Jewel B together. Is that crazy? Eh, maybe. We'll try it, though, because, you know, I love to do that. So I'm definitely going to go with Mantis. On my lower. Wow, that's that. That's all. Yeah. I. This is insane. That's all I did, and it, it, it's done. Uh, what the heck? Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, this is fucking crazy. Okay, and I'm going to take the Jewel B. Okay. Okay, so the Jewel B, I, I thought it's going to be a little bit stronger and not, is not necessarily on my eyes. But that's not a problem because I'm thinking to get with Love Bug too. But let me add just a tiny bit more in here. Let's do Boogaboo. Boogaboo, Boogaboo. Yeah, let's do it right there. And then I'm going to push this one. I'm I'm telling you, like these these shades, I don't need to blend them. Like, what the heck? What the heck, man? Wow, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Should we do fire buds? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, oh, oh my! Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh my, whoa! Do you see that? Do you see that? Do, do, oh. Whoa! Oh, shit. The shimmers in this palette are from a different world. Let me tell you, the shimmers in this palette are from a different world. If the mattes can blend themselves, well, the shimmers, you can see them from the, from the universe. You can see them from, from the galaxy. Oh, wow. Look at that light. Look how the light, it catches. I have never had something like this. Like, okay, this is insane. What in the world? I'm going to add a little bit more of that purple right here because I want to blend that sparkly because I don't want the sparkle right in here. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of that boogaboo right in here. Just kind of give it a little bit more dimension and add a little bit more in the here just a little bit and then we go i'm gonna add a little bit more up here and then i'm gonna do something i know i'm i'm like in the crazy mode right now because i'm just like in, i mean i can't believe this uh so i'm gonna do a little bit of the flutter by and I'm just going to add a little bit up here because I like to have a little bit more uniform type of thing. And yeah, there we go. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it a little bit in the front as well. And 
voila and i'm gonna take the same one and i'm gonna take a little bit of that mantis again and i'm just gonna add a little bit more in here just kind of give it that vibe right there and i'm gonna take a little bit more and just kind of give it a little bit of vibe right here as well and then maybe i can put it on top like right there I am impressed. Whoa. I'm going to go quickly to do, to calm myself down because I'm like losing my shit right now. And then <laughs> do the same thing on this other eye and I'm come back to do the rest of my makeup and my face. Alright, so I did apply a little bit of liner. My eyes for the liner are not exactly the same way, but it's fine. It's fine. And I applied this uh, Huda Beauty Life Liner. But it's time to try the foundation, you know. I've been looking for this foundation. Like, I really wanted to buy this foundation the minute it was um, released. But unfortunately, I was not, I did not have the money at the time. So here it is. Um, this is a nice, beautiful tube. So this is a lightweight foundation that glides on easily, providing customizable coverage with a natural looking, um, natural looking skin like finish. Coverage full to light, finishes natural. It's a stick foundation and also says it's fragrance free, transfer proof, waterproof. Humidity and sweat resistant formula melts into skin for a natural filtered finish. Whether you prefer full or light coverage, this versatile formula will let you be the master of your complexion. We will see about that. All right, so like I said, I have mine in butter pecan 330N. I'm just going to make some big swipes on my face and then I'm going to take a brush. Oh, which brush am I going to use? I don't even know. Um, and uh, go in town on it because this one, yeah, it says brush. And just kind of push this one upwards. I am, I am really uh, happy with the color. Uh, hopefully it's not going to oxidate on me. And it's just going to stay the same. Don't fuck me over, Huda. By the way, I did order one of their mystery boxes. So it should be coming here anytime soon. I order a um, Makeup Geek one too. And I also order a mystery box from a jewelry company. <laughs> This is funny because I, I mean, I used to work in jewelry, right? But we, I work for fine jewelry. So, you know, I'm a little bit more into like gold, diamonds, things like that. But holy moly macaroni. Look at this foundation. Truly, it looks like my skin. It looks really beautiful. There's the foundation. Nice. I like it. We are going to try it and see how it's going to go during the day. So I am going to come back to show you how it looks. Uh, but right now, let's do concealer. Okay, so I decided to go with my Neutrogena concealer. Today is my day where I took I took the day off from uh, the things that I have in Shop My Stash. Uh, I mean, shop my palette and my project pan. I just wanted to do something completely different. And I do have all these things that they need to be tested. So here we are today. That's what we're doing. And now to set my under eye, I put a little bit of this uh, magic powder from Charlotte Tilbury, which is good for under eyes and face. I'm going to grab my sponge and just kind of set it right here. I do want to bake under my eyes a little bit. 
and I'm going to take a fluffier brush and I'm just going to go all over my face. Just kind of set this foundation. I'm not going to go with too much because I don't feel like it needs a lot. Like we want to go for more of a natural look. Uh, now, let's see. I'm thinking, oh yeah, let's do the freaking bronzer. I have, I had this one. I had this one for a little while, you know? Um, and I have not tried it yet. Just gonna hit it right there. Alright, not bad. Yeah. That's a beautiful shade, actually. It's a little bit more orangey than what I usually go for, but still pretty. And we're bronzed. Okay, I'm gonna clean the under eye powder. Now for blush, I'm gonna go with Charlotte Tilbury again, and we're gonna go with this uh, Ecstasy Cheek blush and i'm just gonna go over here in this section like that i noticed that i prefer to put my blush in this motion lately i just feel like it makes my skin look a little i think it makes my face look slimmer a uh, highlighter I decided to go with Jaclyn Hill. I have this one, uh, the Loose Highlighter in Amped. And I do enjoy this one. Um, I bought it when she first time released it. And I do really enjoy it. But I just think, like, she needs to stop with the highlighters, man. Like, just, just bring something else, okay? Let's give us some, some eyeshadow palette. Okay, there we go. Pretty. I'm gonna do it on this side too. All right, so now that we are here, let me see what I'm gonna do for under my eyes. I'm, I'm not sure. I feel like I don't want to put anything too crazy under my eye. Maybe I should just put a little bit of that black liner from Huda Beauty, just a little bit in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of that green shade that is called Mantis. Just a, just slightly bit, you know, I think that, that looks good. Now, Let's try this Kush Mascara. I have never tried this mascara. Um, I know it's been out for a while, but never had the interest necessarily. I got this, I think I got this, yeah, I got this as a, as a, a gift for my birthday with Sephora. It was this and some um, Milk Hydro Grip sample um and uh it was a blush as well in there this makeup today <laughs> looks killer i love it love it so much now for lips oh god i have not brought any lips product okay well uh let's do nude we will go for nude i'm gonna go with Glam Light, this is in Churro, so I'm going to go with this one. This one, I just, the formula is a little, a little bit drying, so I like to have a lip balm or something underneath it when I apply it because it makes it look much better and it doesn't feel as drying on my lips when I apply it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a lip gloss too. I'm going to go with this one from Fenty Beauty. This is in Universal. I'm going to use Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. And this is the look.
What do you think? Do you like it? I love this eyeshadow palette. I it, I'm going to tell you a little bit more at the end of the day, but because I want to see if the intensity of these colors stays the same throughout the day. If I have any problems with it or anything like that, if it disappears or anything like that, I really want to see how it's going to end up looking at the end of the day. But so far, I have to say I'm extremely impressed with the quality of this eyeshadow palette. I want more. I want more shadows like this. I want more. Uh, but... Other than that, everything else, the foundation looks gorgeous. I absolutely love how this foundation looks on me. The bronzer is beautiful. The mascara is really good. You can't see much because I have that liner on, but it's really good. It's really pretty. It looks really beautiful on the eyes. But yeah, this is how it looks like right now. I am going to take you outside in natural lighting in a few hours to show you the progress but right now it's 304 let's say i finished this because i did finish my face and everything um around let's say 245 and uh, we will be back i'm gonna wear it until like maybe 10 30 or so so i would say we will get a good eight hours in or so but i I, I feel beautiful today. <laughs> I really do. I feel beautiful today. This, ooh, so beautiful. All right, guys, so it's time for check-in. It's been about three hours since I had this makeup on. The foundation is still looking pretty good. I actually did a bunch of things around the house to some cleanup and stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks still looks pretty good the makeup is still looking good and this is how it looks like in natural lighting yeah not bad you know still pretty good i am breaking out but i'm not sure if it's from the foundation or not but yeah this is how it looks like i have a lot of white hair I'm going to try to do my hair color somewhere next week. So keep on watching for that one because I'm going to change my hair color by myself at home. But yeah, so far, everything looks pretty good. Everything is nice. It's beautiful. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, so we're here for the final look. Okay, so my skin doesn't look too bad i do have a little bit of my oils showing through but i have not lost the foundation anywhere today and i did do a lot of things um cooking cleaning i did a class where i touch my face a lot so i still have the foundation on still have the blush on which by the way I broke my blush. I broke my Charlotte Tilbury brush. Uh, I dropped it and it's broken now. Yes. It's a sad, sad day. But the eye makeup, gorgeous. Still looking amazing. I have to say it is a, an amazing eyeshadow palette. I, I need to play with it a little bit more to just kind of tell you exactly how much I love this. But for the first day and the first impression, it's a killer eyeshadow palette. And I want to try more from this brand. Like this is gorgeous. Um, the foundation looks really good. I think it's gonna be a very good one. The bronzer is still over there, so it's looking good. So I'm I'm happy with, with my makeup today. I'm happy even with the mascara. I don't have anything under my eyes, which is rare <laughs> when that is. And uh, yeah, it's still, everything's still looking really good, really good. So I have to play with these things a little longer, just kind of tell you exactly how I feel about them. But 
don't worry because I do have a bunch of things that I need to come back and tell you my opinion about it. I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. Okay, but this is how everything looks right now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.